What's going on guys? If you guys have been keeping up with the channel or my Instagram, you guys would know that we've been working on the RX-7 a lot. Been getting it ready for ASB uh, 19 now. Uh, we're making good progress. I ordered a lot of parts. A lot of them are coming in. And we had a very unfortunate circumstance that, like I said, unfortunately, we're not going to make ASB. We may not even be driving for a couple months now. Or even more months than we were delayed for so let me just show you guys what happened and what I'm thinking about as of right now take a quick look you'll see that a lot of the front end stuff is off then we're intercooler radiator and my harness is chilling up there all this is right here and if you take a look everything looks okay You'd be like hey why, why is he gonna why is everything off why is the motor gonna come out if you guys couldn't tell by now how the motor's coming out and this is why you'll see the big old hole in the upper pan and that's not supposed to be there what happened was I was jacking up the car from the subframe maybe it was wet or something maybe some of the water got in it I don't know but as I was jacking, jacking it up the jack slipped and then obviously we know the subframe is a couple inches away from the pan when it slipped off the pan the car fell right onto the jack onto the pan so it cracked the pan. I'm praying, fingers crossed, that it's just the pan that messed up and it didn't touch the crank or anything. So, like I said, we're just pretty much pulling it out. We started this like maybe 10, 15 minutes ago, and it's almost ready to come out. All we have to do is undo the clutch line and the power line and the mounts, and that's about it, and we can yank her out. So, we're not going to do it today. Excuse me, sorry. We're not going to do it today, but we're going to get everything ready to come out. Here's where I'm at right now. Now I don't know if I want to keep the car. Uh, originally I was, like I said, you guys know I've been having second thoughts about the chassis. I kind of want to switch it up to a Ford E46, a Ford or car, or another S chassis. Because if you guys don't know, I did used to have an S chassis. And my thought process is, if the motor has to come out, do I really want to put it back into the car? That was the, the motor being in the car was the biggest thing holding me to this car. So I don't know what I want to do anymore. And another big thing is, if you guys are in the Jay-Z community and need a car that has a rear sump, or, yeah, you need a rear sump pan, but you don't have one, you guys will know how hard it is to find a rear sump pan. And they're getting really expensive and really hard to find. So, if I can't find one, I could always switch over to a front sump and throw it into a 240. I don't know. But, as of right now, the motor's going to come out, we're going to try to source the pan or something, and we'll see what we can do. If we can't find one for cheap, we might have to wait until we, we can save up for it. But, yeah, let's just pull this motor and go from there. Fast forward about two days now. As you can see, the motor's out of the car. It's right over here. Um, like I said, we got to fix the oil pan. I still haven't sourced the pan yet, but we ready, we went ahead and just pulled it out. That way we can just get the pan off. That way when we find one, we can just go ahead and throw it on there. In the meantime, I'm probably going to go ahead and pull the intake off and the turbo stuff side off. That way um, we can go ahead and probably paint these black or paint it wrinkle black. Something, I'm just tired of the oxidized look. So while the motor's out, we're going to go ahead and do that because it'll be a lot easier getting to these back bolts behind the turbo. But other than that, that is it for this video. It's a little short, but um, I, but yeah, I apologize. This video wasn't really... I never really planned on ever having to make this video. But, like I said, we're still aiming for ASB, hopefully. Hopefully we can source the pan in time. So, see you guys on the next one. Peace.